it was a great idea to hold this garage giveaway. We get to clear out our house, and all our stuff will be put to good use. Give him away? his robots. He probably likes them too much to give them away. Maybe we should search the house. Oh, <laughs> 
place two ordinary balls inside these cups. <laughs> well, now that I have all three cups and one ball under each one... Uh, hang on, I forgot the next part. It's okay, Ollie. Move on to the next trick. You're doing great! Well, okay. For my next trick, I have an ordinary purple hat. As you can see, there's nothing inside. <laughs> Maybe I don't have what it takes to be a good magician. I think I'm going to give up trying to learn any more magic tricks. That's not true. You just need one big magic trick to wow the audience. Something that really gets their attention. <laughs> exactly! Sloppy, let's go! <laughs> You can try splitting a person in half. Splitting someone in half? I can't do that. I don't want anyone to get hurt. That sounds terrifying. Don't worry. It's a famous illusion. We can show you how it works. No one's going to get hurt. Well, first you have a special rectangular box. Then you need two people. One assistant at the front to be the head, and one at the back to be the legs. The magician pretends to split someone in half, but it's all an illusion. We can build that in no time, right, Floppy? to steal their tools. Just 
magician after all? You're a great magician, Ollie. Look at how fast the imp ran away. You fooled him with your illusion. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Magicians use clever tricks to entertain the audience. We decided to build our own illusion, which had two square boxes combined together to form a longer rectangular box. The illusion went great! The trick even worked on the imp! We found out that you can't always trust your eyes and believe what you see. It might just be a clever illusion designed to trick you and be fun at the same time. Mr. Cactus, we think this is a big misunderstanding. 
misunderstanding. We didn't cut any trees down to build the tree house. We found the wood. <sighs> Is that why you're so mad? <sighs> wants us to follow it. Uh, Mr. Cactus, are we there yet? Don't make it mad. I just want to know where it's taking us. Whoa. <gasps> the poor trees. Who could have done this? Sloppy would never do that! Well, Sloppy's sorry for breaking that branch, but he didn't hurt all these trees. Don't worry, Mr. Cactus. We'll help you find the person behind this. hard to figure out which way to go because all the trees are so tall. We can't tell what's behind them. Mm, it's hard to see from down here, uh, but it'll be a lot easier when we're up there. Let's, Let's call, call the helicopter. <laughs> the imp cut down. And the other 
other living things around us when we're having fun. is really special. It's been here since Elipolis was founded, and once a year, it has the most beautiful flowers. The town just wouldn't be the same without it. That's a nice tree. But it'd be so much nicer if it was here in my living room. No sharing, no pesky people looking at it. I would have the prettiest tree in Alipolis. And everyone would be jealous of me! I need that tree! Who's that in? The the So bad, so When he shows up, he ruins all our fun. He's always tricking, he's always creeping. He's the meanest thing you've ever seen. The imp, the imp, who's that imp? What do he be? What do he do? He's gonna play a trick on you. <sighs> Everybody get out of the way! 
One, two, three! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It will work! The pillars are holding up the metal net, and the net is strong enough to catch the rocks and stop them from falling on us. Yep, we made a scaffold. They're handy for keeping things from falling down. Now let's go get that imp. Shouldn't be selfish. Some things are best when they're shared with others. 